will now show you how to connect your MA2000W printer to your home wireless network. Go to your computer and type in https colon forward slash forward slash kiosera.info. Press enter. You will be taken to the Kiosera Download Center. Click on the country the machine is located in. Our example is the USA. Now type in MA2000 in the window on the screen. Find the MA2000W in our example and click it. Click on the blue arrow beside the operating system listed. Then click on the actual operating system. In our example, it is Windows 10 64-bit. Use the most recent Windows version available if possible. Scroll down and click on the blue down arrow under Easy Installation. The license agreement will appear. Scroll down and click on the blue box accepting the agreement terms. Now find the web installer.exe file and double click on that file. The web installation will begin. You will be asked if you want this app to make changes to your device. Click on Yes. Another license agreement page will appear. Scroll through the agreement and click on Accept. A resource and energy saving page will appear. Scroll through the page and click on OK. The web installer page will show three files. The install file, the uninstall file, and the maintenance file. Now, plug one end of the USB cable into the printer and the other end into your computer. Go back to your computer and click on the install file selection. The next screen will show available devices as the tool scans for your printer. You should see MA2000W and USB as shown here. You can click on this device and then click Next. On the next screen, select the options you'd like to install. We recommend selecting GX Driver for now. Click on Install. On the next screen, you'll see Installation Progress. Each component will install automatically. The component will download, then show installing, and finally show installed. All components must complete these three actions before the finish button is active. Press next. The next screen is configure your printer. You can click on print a test page and at the conclusion of setup the test page will print. The next selection is set as default printer. If you would like your computer to always print to your Kiosera printer click on this box. The next entry is to open the client tool. To finish the installation, click on this entry and wait for the client tools to start. You may click on Finish as the web installer is now complete. Now the Kiosera client tool will open. To configure the printer for wireless use, select Wireless Network Settings. On the right side of the box, select Wireless Network Setup Tool. Click on OK. You will now see the Wireless Network Setup Tool. Please select Do Not Use WPS and then select Next. You will now see a screen stating basic wireless network connection and USB connection. The wireless part will install your printer to your network. The USB connection is used to perform the configuration. Click on Next. You will now see your printer searching for available access points. This may take a while, so please be patient. From the list, carefully select your network. In most cases, several neighboring networks will appear. Click Next. The next screen shows the MA2000W as the target device, followed by your network name. Leave all other settings the same. On the pre-shared key, carefully type in the password for your wireless network. Remember to include upper and lower case characters while typing the password. Also note, if your connection fails, you may have typed the password incorrectly. Please try again. Click Next. You'll see connecting on the screen. If you look at your printer, you will see a flashing green light to the left. Upon successful connection, the green light will glow steady and the Network Setup tool will show Setup Complete. Click on Finish. All configuration information will be transferred to your new printer through the USB cable. This will take some time. Do not remove the cable or interrupt the installation process. Doing so will cause an installation failure. This process can take several minutes, so please be patient. Wait for the icon as shown here to come to ready. Click on close. Now remove your USB cable from the back of your machine and from your computer. Your machine is now configured for wireless operation.